origami is an art of paper folding origami teaches us geometry you can find geometry in art architecture engineering robotics and much more a major contributor to the field of geometry was euclid around 300 bc who is famous for his works called the elements he said the path to geometry is not royal he is considered to be the father of geometry we continue to use his rules for geometry even today studying geometry provides many foundational skills and helps to build logical thinking analytical reasoning and problem solving in this video let's identify some geometrical shapes while making different caps with newspaper i have seen the demo of this newspaper cap by sri arvind gupta in the year 1998 during silver jubilee celebrations of india's independence he is an eminent science popularizer and a padma shri awardee let's take a full sheet of newspaper in this way the paper comes to our house in this shape let's take only two layers there is a center line towards the center line crease a triangle on the other side also fold one triangle in this way this is a right angle isosceles triangle with 90 degrees here this another right angled isosceles triangle forming a 90 degrees here these triangles together form a bigger right angled isosceles triangle with 45 degrees on either side let's observe the overall shape it has got five sides so it's a pentagon it has two triangles and a rectangular bottom On the rectangle, fold the top layer of the paper as shown and lift it to the top in this way and this forms our first cap. It's called as a rain cap. It can be one in this way so continuing let's turn the paper to the back side center line let's see once again the overall shape and name it one two three four five six and seven so it's a septagon the overall shape is a septagon towards this center line fold two flaps towards it as shown Let's observe the overall shape, second side, third, fourth and the fifth one. So it's once again a pentagon. The 
the bottom rectangular part. Let's fold once again breadthwise half and lift it to the top once again. Release the paper, fold it to the top again and take the extra part of the paper inside the pocket as shown. This forms our second cap. The overall shape is a pentagon. Bottom we have a rectangle. There is one right angle isosceles triangle on one side. On the other side also. Let's concentrate and see what is the leftover shape. So it has got one, two, three, four, five sides. So that also is a pentagon and a regular pentagon. This is called as butler's cap. Let's proceed. There is a triangular part on the top. Let's fold it down, forming a rectangle. Fold it to the center of the bottom, as shown. Now let's observe the shapes formed. Here is a quadrilateral, one more quadrilateral. It has got two sides parallel, so it, we could call it as a trapezium. One more trapezium, both together form a bigger trapezium. There is a right angle isosceles triangle, one more and a rectangular part. This is one cap called as Polydition's cap. Let's continue folding. There's a small opening, a slit. Squash, fold it, press it onto the table and forming a square. The rectangle has taken the shape of a square. Let's see once again. Here it is. We got a square shape. And as usual, let us see the geometrical shapes. Right angle is a triangle. One more triangle. And leftover shape is this. It has got six sides, so it's a hexagon. Now, fold two triangles on either side towards the center point and also lock them for that tuck it inside the belt as shown and this is one more politicians cap. It can be used in this way. Let's proceed further folding. Open these two triangular flaps and this is our convocation cap. Yes. Happy folding viewers.